A Helping Hand by Cynthia Platt. The leaves had already fallen when Squirrel moved into his new tree. He was excited to live on his own. Winter was on its way, but Squirrel knew he'd be able to get ready in time. Soon, Chipmunk came to welcome Squirrel to the neighborhood. I brought you some seeds and nuts, Chipmunk told Squirrel. I've been planning for winter for months, so I have plenty to share. No, thank you, Squirrel said. I can find my own. But it's late in the season, Chipmunk replied, so food will be hard to find. Didn't Chipmunk know that Squirrel could prepare on his own? I don't need your help, Squirrel told him. I can take care of myself. How hard could it be to find food for the winter? Squirrel said to himself. I can do this. I don't need anyone's help. Squirrel looked up trees and under bushes. There has to be food somewhere, Squirrel muttered. He searched through the tall grass and along the frozen water. But he didn't find any food to store away for the winter. Squirrel was feeling frustrated. Why can't I find anything? This should be easier. He sat in the snow and tried to figure out what to do next. He had to do this all by himself, didn't he? But maybe I can't, he admitted at last. Squirrel knew he had to ask Chipmunk for help. I couldn't find any food for the winter, Squirrel told Chipmunk. I need your help after all. Chipmunk smiled at him. Sure, he said, it's hard when it's so late in the season, but I really do have enough for two. Winter was here, but Squirrel didn't have to worry about it anymore. His new tree was full of tasty treats, and he couldn't wait to share the season with his new friend. <laughs>